Thanks. The fight is on against the coronavirus pandemic. The first shipments have arrived and were given to some frontline health care workers yesterday, but that is just the beginning. More shipments of the vaccine are expected to arrive today. Let's take you to a live look at Jackson Memorial Hospital, which Governor Ron DeSantis says will get its vaccine shipment today. The hospital has already set up refrigerated storage containers to house those doses. And while the vaccine arrives across the country, the U.S. has marked another grim milestone. More than 300,000 people have now died from the coronavirus. And Florida also saw its own milestone over the weekend. More than 20,000 people in the state have died from COVID-19. Yesterday, the state announced more than 130 new deaths and 8,400 new cases of the virus. Nearly 3,000 of those cases are here in South Florida. But this morning, the wait is over for those who've been fighting on the front lines of this pandemic. Dozens of health care workers have already been vaccinated and more are expected to get the shot today. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo starts our team coverage from Miami Beach. Monday, Pfizer delivering vaccines to 145 sites in 50 states. I think that it's best for everybody overall if we get the vaccine. Dr. Mary Sokolowski is grateful Jack's Memorial Hospital will be receiving Pfizer vaccine, just as Memorial Healthcare System did in its first shipment in Miramar for frontline workers. And I think the more people we can get immune, the better. I think that it's gone through the right processes to get it approved. However, Dr. Omar, a surgeon, says he is going to wait. If it, if it is shown like it's really effective, the number going, it goes down, I would take it. Since March, healthcare workers have been under tremendous stress. Long awaited for its excitement and the sadness also. Um, just thinking about all the patients who died who could have been vaccinated and this could have prevented their deaths. And Dr. Ari Cement, who has been on the front line since the very beginning of the pandemic, says he will be one of the first to receive the COVID shot at Mount Sinai Medical Center on Wednesday. He hopes to set an example. The risk benefit ratio far favors taking a vaccine that could potentially protect you from deadly disease, which we see every day. Over 300 employees at the Mount Sinai Medical Center have registered to get a vaccine. We, we anticipate initially about 1,500 vaccines with Jackson, but beyond that, we're really not sure yet. And they are ready. They have both freezers for Pfizer and Moderna ready to be stacked. So for Pfizer, uh, the requirement is a minus 80 uh, degree, and for Moderna, uh, it's a minus 20. But over in Broward County, 19,500 doses of the Pfizer vaccine made their way to the Memorial Healthcare System. We've been in this journey now for 10 months. Our first patient came to us on March the 7th. And now for the first time, we're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Shots were being made ready for the first estimated 7,000 frontline employees who are ready to be vaccinated. Vaccine, like if you're getting your flu shot, didn't feel anything. It's not bad at all. And if we are to come against this, disease, we need to be vaccinated. And again, 3 million doses are expected to be shipped within this week throughout the whole United States. In Miami Beach, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 this morning.